Tacoma Public Schools acknowledges that we are on the traditional, ancestral, and historical lands of the Puyallup Tribe of Indians. We honor with gratitude the land itself and the Puyallup Tribe. This acknowledgement serves as a first step in honoring our tribal neighbors and partners who have inhabited this region since time immemorial and whom we give thanks for allowing us passage to their lands. We shall intentionally create inclusive and respectful partnerships that honor indigenous cultures, histories, identities, and socio-political realities. Hi Tacoma, I'm Mrs. Oslin. And I'm Mrs. Wally. Welcome back to TV Classroom. Although we're not in TV Classroom this today. This is not the green screen today. It is not, this is real. We are here at the Tacoma Municipal Building in downtown Tacoma. We're going to explore what happens here at this building, the people who are here, and what they do for our community. The first person that we have the honor of meeting today is our city clerk, Doris. All right, so we're here with Doris. She's the city clerk here at the Tacoma City Council. And can you tell us what you do? I, I, I sure can. So one of the things that I do is I staff the city council meeting, um, which means that um, I, my office creates the agenda. Um, we do that under the supervision of the city attorney's office and the city manager's office. And then um, every Tuesday, the council, the council meeting is held every Tuesday. And this is where I sit when um, I um, staff the council meeting and the council members are all along on the dais. So what, what's your role during a council meeting? What, what do you do? So when we create the, the city council agenda, we have titles. And um, I read the title into the record so that the public knows what the council members are getting ready to discuss. I also take the role. So when the council members vote on a... Um, particular topic, um, we do a couple kinds of roll calls. We either do the roll call where I call each council member by name, mm -hmm. or we do a voice vote where they, um, the mayor simply asks all those in favor okay. say aye, those opposed nay, and that's how we take that vote. That's happened at our school board meeting. Mm -hmm. So if any of you have been to a school board meeting or seen one, we do that at our school board as well. Yeah. I'm noticing a big red clock here. It seems like a timer. That what is, is that used for? Oh, that is a timer. So we um, citizens or community members, right, come to our council meeting to um, offer their input on things that the council members are discussing. So the mayor sets a time, whether it's two minutes or 90 seconds. And when we're in person, now we're virtual, but when we're in person, I can I um, set that timer so that um, we can keep on track and we can mm. keep the meeting moving. So anyone could come speak or zoom in and speak at a city council meeting? Yes, yes. Oh. In fact, we encourage public participation. That's how our council members make their decision, right? They get um, the community to come in and offer their opinions and, and then the um, council members get to um, talk about it and discuss it and then they make their decisions. What's your favorite part of your job? The, it's ever changing, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. So there's there's all kinds of um, subjects that are coming up. Um, some are controversial, some are hot topics, some are fun topics. Mm -hmm. um, for example, last night we appointed our new police chief mm -hmm. and that oh. was fun to see, right? Yeah. That must have been a really interesting process to be a part of. That was, it was really, it was really fun. It was fun to see him get confirmed by the council. As you're going through um, these different hot topics or controversial topics, I imagine there's some conflict that could come up or people have strong feelings. Mm -hmm. How do you, as the city clerk, help the council members or the mayor or even yourself manage that conflict or those strong emotions? So when, when the council um, does have some conflict going on, we um, I create what we call a script for the council members to keep on task. Um, it helps them sort of um, take turns, mm. giving their opinion on mm. different subject matters. So that's how I help them. So it sounds like um, 
Taking turns is a big one. I was going to say taking turns, being an active listener to the person you're having a conflict yeah. with. Monitoring airtime. These are all team cooperation goals right, that all of our right. students in Tacoma are also working on. Oh, that's cool. That is yeah. cool. So friends, you're going to use those skills forever. <laughs> Even the adults use those skills. Is there anything else you would want students to know about your job here at the city? So my job here at the city has been wonderful for me. Um, I was born and raised in the city of Tacoma. I love serving my city of Tacoma. I love watching it grow. Um, to be a city clerk, you have to be curious. Mm. Curious mm. is you want to know why things are done. You want to know what's happened in the past. We keep all the records in our office for the city, for the city of Tacoma. So we have an ordinance back from the 1800s that's wow. just sort of fun to look at and, and um, just to know that we have it because we, we have our history right in our vault. Mm -hmm. Sounds like that's organizational amazing. skills are something you also Organizational have to have. skills are a must. Yep. Well, thank you for being with us here today. Oh, thank you for having me. It was really fun.